Hey solo pros, how's it going? Bhav is the side back with another video. So guys, just wanted to you know check in again like our video I did like in the past. So just wanted to create a quick check in video on what's going on and what's not. And I'll just share my screen and just going to show you like recent results of our clients. Uh, what we have been doing recently and what we are recently been up to, right? So and I think recently we got into a lot of controversy as well like you know we I just posted something related to you know as as a international overseas company like there was this guy like who posted like uh, we don't work with uh, marketing agencies who, who who are outside US right so I just posted it like you know because I think it's not uh, justifiable for us because we are in the business for the last three years and uh, if 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 this was the case then we haven't got so many clients till now right we have been just out of the business but we are still getting clients and that's why that means like we're doing something different and people are trusting with what we are doing right but eventually uh like you know it's going to improve i'm hoping like you know at the stigma behind this uh the xenophobic people like do change you know uh like all the stigma the stereotype should be you know actually improved over time but i have no hate to anyone guys just putting it out here uh, i was i was just whatever i was feeling i just put it out here on facebook and i don't know why people hate on the post that i put it out but i cannot do about do anything about that right but anyways guys this was a recent client so so guess what like here's the best part guys so recently we also started selling data we recently starting uh, selling homeowner as well as opt-in data so for uh, to this guy we sent around uh, twenty thousand leads and in and and in less than a week he closed two sales in less than a week i'm saying and as soon as he started dialing like in just two or three days he got like two two four appointments out of those so if you are looking for solid homeowner data uh or, or opt-in data reach out to me we have like as cheap as leads possible and all the leads will be exclusive to you and you just ha you should be having a solid dialer if you can you know keep calling these leads again and again and just get them on a call and close right so if you have everything available to uh, yourself, like if you can call the leads in volume on a daily basis, reach out to me, uh, just message me on Facebook. We have a lot of solid data which we can sell to and the prices are extremely, extremely affordable. You know, it's not like you have to spend around three thousand, four thousand dollars just to get ten thousand leads. It's extremely affordable. I'm saying that again, reach out to me and I'll share the pricing and we have a lot of data available in a lot of different counties and states. Right. So uh, I think the, yeah, this video I created for VCC. If you don't know what VCC is, like a virtual call center setup, and it's it's recently a in in a lot of you know it's in the a lot of people are talking about like uh, setting up a virtual call center for their solar companies. So, guys, it's it's absolutely you know it's a no brainer thing. Like you know if you can get around uh, like twenty twenty five appointments every single week with this virtual call center like who doesn't who doesn't want to set up a virtual call center then right because it's like you know in the start it, obviously things will be a little slow in the start but eventually as as we continue like month after month uh, like we're going to scale we will add more agents we are going to add more data uh, the volume of the numbers will be going up so eventually from 20 25 appointments a week we can like start expect to go to like somewhere around 40 50 appointments a week or maybe more than that no one knows so recently we also onboarded like a lot of clients uh vcc clients in texas because texas is a solid market for virtual call center i'm not saying other markets are not perfect for it but we have been onboarding a lot of clients in in texas for virtual call center right so apart from that let me show uh, like show you some more results so this was a recent client and uh she is selling in massachusetts if i'm not wrong and we are sending her appointments and uh, and so far uh, we onboarded her maybe last thursday and we uh, we have delivered her close to around seven or eight solid appointments in in like less than a week or something like that so as of now the momentum which we have currently going on with our clients it's absolutely amazing let me show you one more so this is byron he's uh, one of our other client as well and i'm not sure which state is he selling in maybe nevada or texas i'm not sure guys i'm not sure but yeah he just closes for sale and uh, the quality of the leads has been also increased for him and for him we are running facebook ads insane stuff i'm very happy like for this one so this is one of our recent uh, virtual call center client his name is i obviously cannot disclose the name but uh he sells in massachusetts yeah he sells in massachusetts and we got his virtual call center set up in less than a week and as of now, he's averaging around one to two appointments a day.
right like i mentioned like when we start the vol numbers will be a little low but eventually when we start scaling things up then it's going to be insane the numbers will be absolutely high immense right so he's averaging two appointments a day so like in in six seven days he's averaging around 14 15 appointments in a week that's good he's happy so <clears throat> so another let me show you a few more things real quick yeah so yeah here's the thing like i was talking about we sold him the data and he in like a day or two he messaged me two appointments so far and after two days again he messaged me two closes so far so the data which you have is super super you know it's it's very uh, you know uh you can just close a lot of sales out of those right and if you want to know the pricing reach out to me and we i can definitely do share it right and yeah this is in the past yeah this is one of our clients and he also closes for sale and yeah here's the most important post this was like absolutely controversial post so uh, let me just tell you what actually happened so i posted something and someone said like you know you don't you don't have an uh, uh you don't have any office based in us and that's why we are not going to work with you right so i posted this and people started taking it like in an in a, as a negative point of view and a lot of people actually did supported me and i do appreciate for that guys you know because i'm genuinely here just to help you guys here i have no other intention apart from that right but uh, like if you're hating on me for that also guys i cannot do anything uh i just cannot do anything I, like if you reach out to me still i'll be working with you because genuinely i just want to help you guys out uh, when i when our clients actually you know close clients close sales it feels good because i own this company and when when i hear like from my my team like you know this guy this client that you onboarded in texas he closed his first 10 kilowatt sale it feels good you know it, it the feeling is good like do it it's give me a this dopamine hit right so it, it feels good to be honest right so you can see if you want you can just visit here and see like what this post is all about a lot of people has actually actually put their points in what the pov is and whatnot so definitely you can check it out and you can also tell me like what do you think about this because guys the thing is we don't have an office in us that's right yeah we are based overseas we are in india it's pretty 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 hard for you guys to like trust us you don't know me i don't know you it's it's like we live so much far from each other you know so much far so we are just virtually connected here and to be honest i've never been to us it's i never been to us i i definitely uh, excited to visit there very very soon but uh, not yet in my lifetime never visited us but we don't have a office there as well but still guys in this uh, globalized world if if you know globalization what globalization is it's it's like providing services inter exchange of people services you know all around, around the globe in this 21st century right so like if we are doing this correctly then that's why we're in the business if we are if we are like you know not delivering results if all our clients are pissed off we we shouldn't be in the business for this long for three four years right we would we i think at this particular time we should be out of the business because no one was uh, working with us if we never delivered the results if we never got them the roi and if we are getting them the roi and they're working with us they're paying us every single month because we're providing them results that that's what actually our clients uh deserves and what they want right so that's the thing so yeah guys i think this is what recently going on uh i think yeah this is another client and uh, he is selling in connecticut if i'm not wrong and uh, he also started working with us i think two three weeks ago and he's he's, he's just doing amazing right now he's just doing decent so perfect guys i think that's pretty much it i just wanted to just shoot this quick video and just let you know what's recently going on so we are onboarding a lot of clients a lot we have like a good influx of clients appointments and to be honest like our sales pipeline is completely filled with you know a lot of solar reps who wants to talk to us regarding our services and what not especially about virtual call center so this virtual call center thing is kind of limited to only you know five people in a month so so far we have already uh, two clients onboarded for vcc we, we have still three spots left uh, for this month so if you are someone who has like a decent budget of i would say between nine to fifteen thousand dollars of uh, budget you know to set up a virtual call center then you know what to do you just we just set up the virtual call center in just less than a week and from second week you'll start getting the appointments and we have a lot of references for vcc as well if you do want to reach out and ask them like how our setup is actually doing 
from next month uh, we are going to start scaling the systems up so that you can get like a lot of appointments an uh, influx of appointments right so that's that if i talk about the retainer thing if you're someone who wants to run facebook ads we got a word reach out to me and as of now we have like we are running like you know a solid offer it's kind of a discount so we are throwing a 500 dollars off and if you want to run facebook ads reach out to me we'll get you set up for less than uh, like we are going to just cut 500 dollars off for you if you do mention me like you came from this video and uh, so and if you want to buy data if you have a team if you have dialer set up if you have agents you're just looking for good quality data for that also we just got you covered and last but not the least if you don't want to work on uh, you know retainer you don't want to set up facebook ads you don't want to buy data you don't want to set up virtual call center you directly want appointments again we have got you covered so we are just handling everything i'm excited like after three years in my this entire journey we have got so much figured out and still guys i wouldn't say i wouldn't say like you know our delivery is perfect if if it would be if it would have been perfect we would be dominating solar marketing uh, industry we would have been i'm still saying we're still figuring new things out we're still dialing new things out we are just trying to make it perfect every single day nothing is perfect uh, and everything we're just uh, doing on daily basis we're just trying to make it we're just trying to master it just like you know whenever we onboard a client we just need to deliver him, deliver them as quickly as possible on a consistent basis also just for information we did refunded a lot of clients this month and uh, who didn't worked out with us well and uh, obviously we also uh, we were also unable to deliver them we just refunded them but i know uh, i i think i shouldn't put it out here but there was this guy you know so okay but yeah i'll just leave it i don't want to talk about it but he did charged us back for no reason on my on my stripe account and he agreed uh, that uh, yeah everything is good and again he charged back me and then you guys you know say like you know uh, these indian guys scammers guys what about like you charging us back for no reason and it's affecting our revenue it's affecting uh, my stripe account uh, account health you know and if i get like these charge back for no reason because we have delivered and still we are getting charged back so that like the client can get like everything they are invested with us even while we making a good roi then guess guys what's the point of working together if you have this mentality like you know it's like a scam you made money with us you made a roi and now you're charging us back uh, charging us back to you know even take the money which you have invested in us i don't know what's the reason of working uh, with clients like these so it happened with us like a lot of time and this recently happened i think last week and uh, so i'm going to obviously charge i'm also going to put a dispute because i have all the proof and eventually i'm going to win that uh, dispute as well and there was this client and he was selling a new jersey he he invested around $6000 in a retainers and ad spend was separate so guess what every single month he was like averaging around 5 to 7 sales in new jersey with us and guess what once he st stopped working with us he literally uh, created a dispute for all the $6000 he invested in retainers with us for the 3 or 4 months whatever it is so guys he made the ro and still he charged back so do you think like if if this is not a scam what is it then and then you say like we guys from india we scam obviously guys i would say like there are people in india who doesn't have like this good intentions good they don't have uh, integrity of working how to do the business in a ethical way but if you think in in if you think guys like you know why do our clients do like this we we try to sell solar in california we invested in our appointments we sent the appointments to one of the closers we never got the commission paid and now there are clients who are just charging back us they are creating disputes on our stripe accounts for no reason even while making a good roi with us so i don't know what to say this if 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 this is not a scam or what not so but anyways guys i'm i'm here doing business with in ethical ways if you're doing wrong to us then you know what's going to happen like karma is everywhere that's going to sort everything out but anyways guys that's pretty much it for this video i just wanted to check in real real quick and i hope you're closing sales and uh, you know what to do if you're someone who's looking for leads appointments agent data homeowner data opt in data or you need to set up a virtual call center you just need to know 
you just have to reach out to me and we'll just get you set up in no time anyways guys all the best keep closing sales and have a very good day bye